Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12 playing on the Dire Wolf 20 server. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. What are we doing today? Well, we need to go check on our resources from the Void Ore Miner, see how that's doing. And I need to show you the little thing I came up with to kind of limit what we're getting out of that. And then we're going to actually get back to the Quantum Bridge. We didn't quite get there last time, if you remember. But today we're going to work on it. And that way we can, we well, we can have a little remote system going. And, uh, and, and I hope that our power system is up to snuff for it. We'll see. We'll see. If we start having issues, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. But uh, that if we have any more time, we'll, we'll find something else to do. Don't, don't you worry. We've got plenty of projects here still to do. But uh, let's, let's jump into that, shall we? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are over on our... I don't know what to call this island, actually. It's not quite our, it's not fully our power, power supply island, but how's this going? We've got plenty of RF here. So I did make a little change from the last time. I started pumping this, this thing into our main power array because we drained it. This solar system, our solar array is not doing quite what we need for the void or miner. So we do need to get to uh, upgrading that. So we will get there eventually, but for now, you see that we've got a little something else here. See this? We've got the resonant servo on here going into a trash can. I've got this thing set to blacklist. So anything that's not or that is in here is going to not be pulled through the servo. And anything that is not these will get pulled through the servo. So we're keeping appetite, charged certus quartz ore, resonant in stone, resonating ore, certus quartz ore, coal ore. I don't know why on that one. I've got a, I could get a coal B, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about that. Dimensional shard ore, draconium ore, because we're going to be needing that. And then the two types of crystals here. So let's take a look. This is the first time I've done this. Okay. Not, not the greatest, but not bad. Not bad. Okay. We've got a decent amount of litharite in here. And then you just saw something pop in and then get deleted. And that's fine. So the main order of business we need here is uh, these erodium crystals and we are going to upgrade this uh, let's you know what let's go we we forgot a tool so let's come over here we'll take our erodium crystals and go into our spot right here okay let's take a look at uh, erodium you know what? It would be cool if we had a few uh, compacting drawers. So let's do that. Compacting. We don't have any there. And I'm getting off in the weeds already. One, two, three. Okay. Yes, this is what we want right here. So let's just grab these like so. And we've got a little bit of a change in here as well. I've added more interfaces and then I've covered everything in molecular assemblers, at least to what we can do. We're missing a few faces of some um, interfaces right there. And then we've got, uh, we've got things spread out a little bit more so that if we've got a craft that is across multiple mods and we've got, say we need litharite and we need a solar panel, we get some litharite in anyway. So stretching them out across each of these interfaces means that we can spread the crafting across multiple molecular assemblers. So, uh, so that's, that's what we're doing there. What I want to do is take the erodium and just put that in there like so. So it's a lot easier to handle this. And then do we have litharite? No litharite. Let's just make one. I know we've got some over there, but I didn't bring it with me. Okay. Litharite. And we get four out of it because that's just how it goes. Okay, so there. And then we can say, uh, get some tape. Yep, we've got that. And my key. Key? Yep, there we go. Okay, so we'll, we'll lock both of those and we'll lock this one as well. And then what you do is you take your packing tape and just go like that. 
and we'll take litharite. That's the first one. Uh, no, erodium. That was the first one there. So the next one I pick up is going to be the litharite. And I'm thinking those should probably go right here. Yep. And this one. And then this one. Okay. And server saving the world again. Way to go, server. Excellent. Now what we want to do is grab our assembler. And then we'll make a laser lens. We do have a clear laser lens. Okay. How about crystal? Can we do this? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our void ore miner because I want to get more of these erodium and litharite crystals than anything else. I don't care really about the ores. It's nice to have them, but I don't, I, I don't much care. Any slime over there? No, good. So I happened to build on a slime chunk. I'm not sure if you remember that, but there we go. Let's take crystal laser lens and we'll put that right there. And we should be good to go. We got the clear one right there. And so the crystal laser lens is going to give us six and six point something percent chance of getting some of these crystals right here. So we're going to grab those. I'm going to leave the rest of this in here for now and we can worry about processing those later. But we will leave the void ore miner at its current tier because uh, it's a little, uh, it's a little uh, too, it's taken too much power. That's the, that's the big thing. So let's take a look. We've got four of the crystals in here and I want to make sure just once again that we've got everything set up correctly. Yes. Okay. So we've got 146 now. Good. All right. So we've got plenty, plenty there. All right. Next order of business is let's go into uh, bed and, and sleep. And that's not because I'm afraid of night. We've got, we've got everything lit up all around us, but I don't like rain. Even though I've got the dissipation charges, I don't like rain. So we're going to uh, avoid it like that. Uh, you can see that I've cleaned up over here. We had, why, why did I lose a, Oh, there was a dirt. Oh, we had a we had a note block there. Or the not the note block, the sound muffler right there, and I didn't fill it back in. But I took the animals and I put them into the storage system because they were causing some error messages on the server console. So that's that's where we're at there. Over here, remember we set up the matter condenser last time, and I had the material stonework factory pumping into that thing. Guess what? That was too slow. Uh, I left it overnight and then checked it again, and it ended up being only about 47,000 in there. So that's an overnight thing. So instead, what I did is I got this igneous extruder, which I made with you on camera sometime back, and it really, I didn't know what to do with it. So what I've done here is I've got it fully upgraded. It's the resonant version now, and we've got it uh, fully, well, pyroclastic injection. So this means it's not going to consume water. So we don't have to have a water supply going in. And then the rest of these are filled up with auxiliary reception coil. So it is filling this thing with cobble pretty quickly. But if we go here, we see that we've got five singularities already. We're not going to need that many, but let's just, uh, let's just grab those. And then the next order of business that we need to take care of is we need to get some ender dust. Now, Let's take a look at this uh, in here. Singularity, no, what are the uses? Can, is it gonna show me? No. So we need to make a quantum entangled singularity. And the way you do that, we take a look here to create, drop one singularity and one ender dust and cause an explosion with, within range of the items. Now that ender dust, uh, where does that come from? That is the applied energistics mod. So let's take a look there. Ender dust, ender pearl dust. Hmm. Is that, is that going to work at applied ender? No. So maybe, maybe that will work. So let's, let's just take a look here and see if this, this works for us. We've got 
ender pearl dust from one of our bees. Yes, right there. So let's grab, um, you know what? We'll grab a couple. Is that good? Good. Okay. Then we come over here. And the next thing we need to do is we need to cause an explosion in the presence of these two items. And you can do that with TNT. The problem with TNT is that it has the possibility of destroying your items. And so we don't want to do that. How about some tiny TNT? It used to be that you could just make a piece of TNT and then put it back in the crafting window and you get a tiny TNT. This one's a little bit different. Gunpowder and Certus Quartz dust, which we've got from our bees. So we're going to make a couple of these and then we need a flint and steel, which we've got right here. All right, so let's leave the premises. Why not? right let's go back out here and then we'll turn off our item dislocator and what we do is let's just put a put something right here tiny tnt is uh, it shouldn't cause a problem so let's chuck that in there and then we'll chuck this one in here and then we do that and that's not going to work. Hmm. How, how does tiny TNT work? Do we have to have a redstone signal? Maybe we need a redstone signal for this. Who knows? Let's, let's try this again. Into Pearl dust in there. And then singularity. I'll check that in there. And that in there as well. And then let's see if this works. Okay. And maybe it creates it. Yes, it did. So now we have two quantum entangled singularities. And that actually did damage that I was not expecting. Huh. Well, that's interesting. So you learned something new. That's good. That's good to learn. And you know what? While we're at it, let's just do... Let's do this other one. Chuck that in there. No, singularity right there. Okay. And then will that do it? And we get another singularity. Okay, so not too shabby. How about let's fill the hole back in? Okay. Now, what we need to do is go over to uh, back in here and we need to create the, uh, we can just throw that in there and that and that and that and the keys we're done with, assembler we're done with, lever we need to return to where it came from, flint steel we're good, okay. And we'll throw those back in there. All right, so let's, let's take a look at what we need to create. So you've got to have one of these quantum, it's called a quantum bridge. You need a quantum bridge on both sides of your network. So the one that's sending and then the one that's receiving as well. So um, we're going to say quantum here. You need eight of these quantum rings per bridge, and then you need one quantum link chamber per bridge. And so that means we need 16 of these quantum rings. And that means uh, we're going to need to grab, um, what did it say? Quantum dense smart cable. Lovely. Okay. So we need 16 of these energy cells. And how about let's make a, a pattern for that. Shall we? I don't know why it doesn't remember. Maybe I do know why it doesn't remember because I told it not to remember. So let's do this. Oh, we don't have all the things. Fluix dust. We don't have Fluix dust. Hmm. That seems surprising. We may have some out here. Or maybe I used it all. I might have used it all. Let's take a look. I did use it all. Oh, man. I am not prepared for this episode. Do we have... Fluix here. We've got some right there. So let's, let's get, grab a couple of stacks of that. 
And then, you know what, while we're at it, we probably should make some more charged. We don't have much charged. Maybe it's that I'm thinking of my time over on FTB Revelation and that has all the resources. We need some redstone. Got a little bit there. Yeah, we're going to make some more Fluix while we're at it. Uh, probably should just make it out. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of quartz. All right. Then let's go back out here and we will get this stuff pulverizing while we are making this other stuff. So we need a little bit of water. Do I have a water bucket? Yes, I do. So we can just come over here and make this our Fluix thing for the time being. So you throw in your charge surface quartz. Oh, it is falling back into my inventory. Okay. And we'll throw in the redstone and the quartz. And you get Fluix. Two per batch. Okay. Good. And then we can go grab some of the pulverized Fluix dust. Should be right here. Okay. Now, that's not enough to get what we need, but we can at least get the process started. Okay. So, over here. And I clicked it with the device. Did not mean to do that. Let's get that out of our hand. Put that here. And then we'll do all of that. Excellent. Now, can we make a quantum... We can at least make the energy cell. Yeah. So a pattern for that. And then we throw that. Um, how about right there? Good. And then we need quantum ring. Oh, we can't. Okay. Energy cell. Should be able to make it. Yeah. So let's make one. Go. Good. Okay. And then quantum. We should be able to make that. Why? Energy. Is it, why is it not taking it? Okay. There we go. Huh. Strange. I hope we don't have any problems with that. So what's that? What that was telling us? This energy cell actually stores energy, so it's got NBT data associated with it. And so Applied Energistics 2 tends to have a problem pulling stuff with NBT data into recipes. So what are you going to do? How many of these can we make? Um, let's see, can we do this? No, you know what? Let's say quantum. Yeah. So we need 16 of these and it'll tell us what we're missing. Dense smart cable. Okay. And Flux dust. So we need to get some smart cable going and we probably should make patterns for all of that. Let's go. Let's go grab the Flux dust from there. Oh, just a little bit more. We'll wait for this. Three, two, one. And good. Excellent. So let's go back over here. We should have plenty of Fluix dust at this point. There and there. And then let's take a look at our patterns. Um, okay. So we probably need to make some more patterns here soon. But let's take a look at the quantum... No, no, no. Energy cell. Yeah. Over here? No. Look at usages. So we got a few usages there. And then dense smart cable. We need... Okay, we don't have any of this stuff. So we need smart cable, right? So we've got, we've got some dense smart cable here. That's made. Covered cable, smart cable. Now we need dense. Fluix, where is this stuff? Looks right here. Okay, that requires dense covered cable. And dense covered cable comes from covered cable. 
which is wool plus that. So we do have a recipe for that. And we're going to say, or dictionary substitutions. Good. Okay. We probably should also get a recipe for wool. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and we're out of out of patterns. So let's do that real quick. Do 10. Okay, we've got plenty there. Good. Throw that in. Okay, so we got a couple patterns there. We can throw these in. I'm going to put the wool right here. That's the vanilla stuff. And then in coded pattern, we'll throw this right here. Okay. And then, and then, yes, there's plenty of and thens. Dense, smart. Okay. Dense covered. We should be able to make this. Good. And we can throw that in here like so. Um, do we have any other free ones available? No. So we may need to kind of split this apart. We're not going to be crafting AE2 stuff at the same time we're crafting environmental tech stuff. So let's just do this. So we're not, uh, we're not stepping on each other's toes here and dense smart cable. We've got that one covered and we've got this one now covered and we should be good to go. So I'm sorry, I should have done all of this off camera and prepared better, but let's see if we can finally make our quantum quantum rings. Uh, we've got, we've got this thing. Let's see if we can make our system do the quantum rings. Do we have everything? Yes, we do start. And you can see over here, monitors going and then over here. Yep. We've got items being crafted and it's all done. That was quick. Uh, something that I did off camera, I added another 1K storage right here just to increase the amount of crafting that we can do in one whack. So we've got 16 of those. Good. And then we need, oh, the quantum link chamber, which requires quartz glass and fluix pearl. So let's do this one. How about right here? Uh, no, 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 no. Fluix. We're going to use this right here, like so. Grab that as a pattern, and then quantum. Grab this as a pattern. I think. Oh nope. Let's do this once again. Put that right here, and then can we do this? Yes. Good. And. Make sure that this one doesn't go along with the quartz glass because it's going to need it. Okay. And now quantum, we need two of these, a lot of effort just for that. Boom. Good. All right. Now, excellent. Okay. So do we have, we had a, an anvil and I think it may be outside here. What I want to do is well asleep we've got five five um, five levels so we just need one right here we're going to name this just to make it clear which network we're on and we're going to call this one the uh, auto crafting okay there we go and then what we do is we go in here like so and we're going to also grab a tunnel. Yep. And then we're going to grab some dense smart cable. We're going to need a little bit of this. And, and we also need, uh, you know, what? let's see if, can we do 10? Yes, we can. So we'll do 10 to start and see where that gets us. How about an energy acceptor in I don't know why it does that. Eh, come on. Typing, not doing so well. Energy acceptor. So let's make one of these. Not with the pure fluix crystal, with regular fluix, like so. And then I forgot to get a 
um, a power source of some form. And I'm sorry for the jumping back and forth. It's just the name of the game for now. Eventually we will get wireless going. And you know what? We can actually turn, turn this back on. Okay. Good, good, good. And let's go back into our storage right here. All right. Now, that was rather convoluted. What we want to do is move this and this. Oh, that's... Hmm, that's going to be a problem. Uh, let's do this and that. Yep, I didn't realize cables were there. So always check where your stuff is. Okay, and we'll do that. And then we need some... Oh, that's got cables there too. Okay, that makes sense. Well, how about right here? Okay. We will put the energy acceptor right there and power cell right there. And that's out. Okay. Next, let's build this thing. Uh, and it's a three by three, like so. Let's come over here. And there. Okay. And then what we do is we take one of these quantum link chambers and put it in right in the middle. And you see it formed a multi-block right there. Yeah, so far so good. And then what we do is we take one of these quantum entangled singularities and throw it like that. And then what we want to do is grab our dense smart cable that we should have available. Yes, yes we do. And we can take that and that, okay. And we are going to put two networks Oh, no, they can only go into the center block. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. That's, that's rather annoying. That's really annoying. Um, <laughs> that's really, really, really annoying. Um... I can't say that I'm happy about that, but what are you going to do? Okay, let's put our pattern terminal back. I want to make sure that we get a bunch of channels going into this thing. So, so that's why I've got, we've got 32 coming from that side in, 32 from that side right there. And then it would be great if we could get 32 going up and in in but I don't know that that's going to be possible right now so let's not bother with it right now smart cable it should tell me 30, 0 of 32 0 of 32 okay and then let's grab that machine right there and get a sign I see we are getting rather rather long in our episode so uh, this is going to be the last thing we just need to make sure you know what how about we do just a quick Crafting terminal. Let's see if we can make one of these. No. So we need a crafting table. And it should pick up. Good. And do we have one of these? Yes, we do. And so that means we can make this crafting terminal. Good. And we need some cable. Let's do that. And we've got power and all that fun stuff. Okay. So let's go up here. And we're going to throw this machine down right like that make a note of what it is and we'll put the auto crafting in there okay and then we can actually go into here and i brought these tunnels so that we could right click them and just delete them from the walls like so uh no come back here Thank you. And we'll grab that and that. No, no. Delete. Okay. I guess you have to hit right on the center of the block. Good. Okay. And what we're going to do in this machine is put all of our... Okay. I guess you have to cycle through. 
that's new. We're going to put all of our auto crafting stuff. And uh, what I figure is maybe, just maybe, we'll put this, we'll start it on the floor. And if we need to later move it, we can. So where's the center? One, two, three, four, five, six, right here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, right here. Okay. Um, actually, you will need to go on the side, maybe, out, and quantum ring, no, 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 not quite what I want. You have to have power on, on this side of the network as well, in order for, for this thing to start working and bridge the gap. So, uh, so that's why we've got the energy acceptor like, like that. And we take the quantum link chamber and we get our multi-block and then we can put this quantum singularity in. It did not connect. So maybe the power has to be on the center block there. Yes, okay. Yeah, so you can see there's a little bit of a difference there. The the blue lights kind of show up a little bit better. And then over here, we've got uh, we've got a little bit of a quantum looking thingy mabob going in. And uh, what I want to do now is just get a quick test just to make sure that it works, okay? And so uh, we may play with some other stuff later, but for now, I want to get crafting terminal in here and boom let's see and we can access the full range of our items right here now let's take a look at our energy supply so not too bad it's hovering right around 88 million which means we've got more than enough power coming in for this thing it is 400 rf a tick right yeah 400 rf a tick 200 ae a tick 400 rf a tick and and there we go so What's going to happen in here off camera? I'm going to move that auto crafting array like um, like we've seen over here. All of that is going to move over into the other side. It's going to become a little bit more organized. This is kind of a mess. And then we're also going to start putting processing patterns in there. But we're not going to do that today because we have run out of time. So hopefully you have enjoyed. If you did. A like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel. But uh, hey, we took a look at what we've got going in our void ore miner. We got some new stuff going on in there. And we took care of this quantum, quantum bridge. So we are beaming our ME system across the ether to the compact machine since we couldn't actually route cables into it because Applied Energistics 2 is not up to date with what's going on in, in uh, quantum or in compact machines. So, oh well, you win some, you lose some. This is the route that I've taken with Applied Energistics. So it's my bed, I've made it, and, and now we just have to deal with it. So there we go. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, let me know down in the comment section down below, but uh, or hit me up on Discord. I've got a link to my public Discord in the channel or in the description box down below. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.